Priscilla now at 500, all done. Loving Gabby, uh, she's certainly our star uh, two-year-old filly in the stable. Uh, she's done a remarkable job. Uh, she's ran in the Blue Diamond, the Golden Slipper, uh, the Sires and the Champagne, four group ones in a row. And um, I think the history books say that fillies very rarely do that. Uh, even from early doors, you could tell she was a big, scopey girl. Uh, if you'd asked us uh, whether we thought she was going to run in, in uh, all four of the big group ones, we probably would have said she's more a three-year-old mould because she's just that big, scopey, uh, leggy sort of filly. Then she showed, certainly showed her ability on the track at home and uh, that first trial she had was very impressive. And I've been up in Sydney since September, but I talked to the boys, uh, Kieran and Dave, and you can certainly hear the excitement in their voices when they're talking about her. And uh, when she arrived up in the Warwick Farm stable here before the slipper, I was really impressed with how much she'd grown. And, uh, even just since she's been in the stable, she's, she's like looking after a colt, she just eats and eats. She's put on 25 kilos uh, since uh, before the slipper and most horses lose weight throughout their prep, not gain. So uh, she's, yeah, she's quite extraordinary really, she never misses a beat. Lanagira with 100 to go. Here comes the big filly. Loving Gabby over the top. Heading into the chairman's, um, Kieran was confident she'd run well. Um, anyway, she blitzed them and was then favourite for the Blue Diamond. I think it was Reduke's Choice was the last horse to, to win the Blue Diamond off one run. So we knew she was perhaps going there a touch green and she maybe showed that. Um, she just got uh, in and amongst horses had nowhere to go. Uh, so it's a bit frustrating. Uh, if she'd had clear room, who knows what would have happened. They're all locked in now. The Golden Slipper of 2019. Pressing on towards the slipper, she was a little bit, had slipped under the radar there, but we were really confident she'd run well. And uh, if it wasn't for a wide barrier, who knows what would have happened, but she ran an enormous race, was four and five wide the whole way. I think that's when we realised uh, how special a filly we had on our, on our hands. Obviously pressing on to the sires, we were confident she'd get the 1400 without any issues. And, uh, she was very good that day. Uh, what Kieran loved about the run was that she, she uh, was headed by Castle Vecchio and then fought back and uh, beat him on the line. Castor Vecchio deep out, microphone from Castor Vecchio and microphones won it. Microphones won the English size from my the loving Gabby who flew. I think if you'd ask Kieran on the day, he was probably keen to head to the paddock, but she came through the run so well. She, uh, ate everything and kept improving so uh, we kept the option open to run her in the in the champagne and she just kept uh, pleasing us so that's why we we're keen to press on. We're all locked away now, red light on for the champagne stakes. We were really hopeful she could just nab that last uh, group one of the season. Uh, it was obviously a very very fast run race, I think it was one of the fastest two-year-old uh, races uh, ran in the last 20 years I think uh, we were told so and she's done a remarkable job but what was so impressive was uh, how good she was off that hot speed. Castor Vecchio charges away now in the champagne. Uh, loving Gabby, but ultimately won the race for second. Uh, look, she probably would have carried on going if, if we could have done, but uh, decided to give her a break. She can have a nice six weeks out, I'd imagine, down at Waratah, but we can't wait to get her back as a, as a spring three-year-old. The world will be her oyster next year. Physically, she's big and raw still, so she's really done it on raw ability at the moment. Um, but when she furnishes, she could be anything next year, whether that be uh, for, the, for the guineas or even the Coolfield guineas. If she comes back really sharp, you may uh, actually go down the Coolmore path with her. So uh, we won't make any plans as to her future. Uh, but all we do know is we've got a really exciting filly for next year.